Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am very excited for today's video and in case you have not noticed, the background is a little different. We are filming in my closet because today we're mixing it up and we're talking about my favorite topic other than makeup and jewelry, handbags. If you know me, I have a handbag obsession. I have a really nice collection in front of me. I'm in my closet and the entire floor is filled with bags but I have a lot of high, low, medium bags. So I have designer, I have mid-tier like premium bags, and then I have more affordable bags. This sounds really materialistic, but I am a little materialistic, I'm not gonna lie. My family, my relationships, my life experience hold deeper meaning to me in life, but I do have to say that a lot of my handbags and a lot of my jewelry carry a lot of memories with them and they bring me happiness. Like when I walk out with my one Chanel bag that I own, it brings me joy. So yeah, not to be materialistic and you do not need designer handbags. I'm not here to push the kind of like, what is that? I've read some kind of article about how it's like rich culture. We're pumping out content with designer things, making other people feel like they're only worthy if they own designer things. Guys, for the longest time, I did not own designer things and I loved my things just as much. But since my late 20s, I kind of have leveled up in my handbag collection. The first designer handbag that I ever bought was in 2013, 21 years old, and I bought it because I worked at Michael Kors and I got a major discount. So I just, I love bags, whether they're super expensive, whether they're dirt cheap. I did not buy all of these in one shot, so do take that in mind. I am gonna share with you guys the names of the bags, the years that I bought them, this way you know how long I've owned them. A lot of these handbags I've owned for a really long time, so I can really give you the scoop. But again, this is a video for everyone. There's high, low, and a lot of premium in between. And I do buy my handbags discounted. And I'm gonna share with you my favorite website to buy secondhand goods from. And no, this video is not sponsored. So let's go ahead, make sure you're subscribed, click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I've been uploading twice a week and clearly I'm mixing a little bit of fashion content into it. So let me know if you like it and let's go ahead and just hop right into the video. I decided that I wanna take this in chronological order and I have sold so many handbags since getting to this collection, but these are the ones that are still here that have made it through and I can't believe I've had some of these for like 10 years. So my oldest handbag, I'm pretty sure that I still have Michael Kors tote bag. So it is multi-toned, it is big, she's big, and I'm small, take into consideration. I'm five foot two, so I'm pretty petite, and I feel like we need to zoom out for this video. This is the handbag. I bought her when I worked at Michael Kors as a sales associate in 2013. We had, I think it was like a sales or an employee event of some sort, and we got 40% off any bag, and this is from the Michael Kors collection so it is the top tier collection of michael kors and guys when i saw this i just i fell in love with her i get so many so many compliments on her she is kind of just like an abyss of a bag like it's just a bucket bag that you just throw things into which drove me crazy because it's dark in here okay it's dark so i would lose a lot of things so i did buy an organizer that goes inside of her and that also helps to keep her structure. You can still find this handbag online on secondhand stores. Michael Kors, I don't believe, carries this bag anymore. But for the longest time, I was the biggest Michael Kors fan. I'm really not so much anymore, but I will say his old stuff that I bought 10 plus years ago, I still own. Like this handbag, it's in really good condition. I also got a pair of sunglasses that I think were like 75 bucks retail, but I got them for free when I interned at Michael Kors and I still wear them all the time. They're my favorite kind of like summer sunglasses because they fit so well and they're so durable. I actually left them at my mom's, which I'm really upset about. But you know, this bag is a very soft leather. Again, I'm not going to talk too much about it because they no longer produce this bag, but she's beautiful. She's supple. She could definitely use a cleaning. I have no shame in buying season seasons old bag because we're going to talk about a bag that I bought when it was like already four seasons old, I think. This is a really good staple. However, she is heavy. So just know that just like the bag itself is heavy. I don't think that these gold details on her help. She does have feet on the bottom though. 
I do love her, but I'm going to be honest, like I don't reach for her a lot just because she's not very comfortable to hold. If I'm going somewhere and I know that I need to bring a lot of things and I'm not going to be walking around, like I don't bring her to the mall. I'll take her with me if I'm like going to get coffee or like going to my mom's to work from her house just because I can bring a lot. Not the most comfortable. Okay, my next kind of like clutch that I bought in 2015 and she looks like she was bought in 2015. This is my DVF clutch bag. This is the first clutch bag I've ever owned this is like one of two clutch bags that I still own but this was a hot and popular item back in the day in 2015 which I can't believe was already like 10 years ago but she is really cute you can see though the DVF the silver plated is kind of scratched off so she does look a little busted but I love her she's just like classic she's chic I don't know if I'll have her forever but I gotta be honest I'm really not a big clutch person that could change and honestly now that I just said that I'm thinking to myself like maybe I should buy a clutch just because I love handbags but I love a shoulder bag so I don't really get excited about bags that don't have straps on them like this so that's why I've kept her forever just because she's a good staple a good go-to if I'm going to like a cocktail party or a wedding or whatever something more formal I can bring her even though she looks a little scratched from a distance you can't tell this was my first like big handbag moment I bought this bag without a discount so unlike the Michael Kors one I splurged and went for it but at the time this handbag had been around for a really long time and I have to say she is probably top three of all of my handbags and you're gonna see in a little while like I really upgraded in the handbag department in terms of money spent on handbags but this is the Alexander Wang I think I bought it in 2018 I went back in my videos and my pictures and I tried to find like the early earliest photo or video of this in it but this was so popular when I was in college love the silver hardware now I am definitely more of a gold gal but I just love the silver contrast against the black kind of like pebbled leather and this leather is kind of like worn looking so you can't even tell that I've owned her for this long like I've had this for a really really long time I bought this when I was in my apartment and I bought this as like a birthday present to myself how old was I in 2018 32 minus 5 27 Wow, she can do math sometimes. I was 27 when I bought this and this was like, like I said, my first real like Alexander Wang, not Michael Kors, but Alexander Wang handbag and it's just like a bucket bag and she is small but she is mighty and she carries a ton. Now granted, you should really zip your bags when out in public, especially nowadays because people are a little crazy but she does have this like kind of lip here. So I don't zipper her, I just kind of keep the lip to me so that as I'm running around doing errands I can just flip her open grab things out of again she holds a ton of things there's a little pocket in here otherwise it is just like a bucket drop bag and then there's a little pocket on the outside too which the zipper is a pain it's fine the zippers work but it's a little tight and I never want to mess up my Mac here so I've never really put anything in here but I think that I will have her forever I put it on snapchat and was like I bought myself a designer handbag for my birthday she's just a really good everyday staple to run errands with and she's black and silver so she pretty much goes with everything the only thing I will say is that you can still buy her and I think she's like dirt cheap now like I think you can find this for like 80 bucks on Poshmark or Farfetch'd or something just be careful what you put this on because Mike and I got a beach house and I put this bad boy on the chairs and it scratched the chairs like the wood chairs it came out granted but just be careful because it is very spiky my next two bags were dirt cheap and i love them dearly so i think that these are both from aqua they're just really fun beaded bags do we remember when beaded bags were a thing now i don't know what year i bought these it may have been 2018 2019 but i don't know if they still make it i will try and find it like it down below but this is so fun granted i really don't use this because it's just like a bucket plastic bag. There's no zipper and it makes me nervous. And this one is the same way. It's just like open and it's a beaded bag. But the difference is that this doesn't have any shape. You see, whereas this one will stand up if I need it to stand up. So this one, I do gravitate towards more just because if I put her down next to me or on the table, all my things are gonna stay in her. But she is so cute. She's like the perfect summer bag. Now this was again, really cheap. I do believe that this is from Aqua. She is a mess on the inside because it is like a white satin. I'm not gonna lie, she is a little decrepit looking. You can see in between some of the pearls, it's starting to get a little weird just because this is pretty old at this point. Did break a bead somewhere over here 
over yonder trying to find it. Where is it? It's a cheapy little pearl, but she's cute. Like she would look cute with my outfit today, you know? I love it, super cute. If I can find this, I'll link it down below. But I will say that not all beaded bags are made equally because I bought these two and then a black and white one and the black and white one I wore it twice and the beads like bursted off of it. So things that are knitted a little bit more tightly woven like these two are great and I really haven't used this one and I should probably sell it but I just love looking at it like looking at it brings me happiness it's just so pretty and I think the last time I used it was when Mike and I went to the Bahamas I don't even remember when that was like these honestly might be older than 2018 I might have bought these in 2017 I'm not 100% sure I use this a lot but I haven't been using her recently like I haven't really used her this summer because I bought newer handbags that I'm a little bit more obsessed with my first like designer handbag as a gift was from my husband and I believe it was I think it was 2020 for my birthday he bought me this bag and I remember him buying it for me because I really wanted it but thinking to myself when am I ever gonna wear this am I ever gonna leave the home again because it was like the depths of COVID now my designer handbags most of them I do keep in dust bags just because I don't want them sitting out in the sunlight changing colors getting dust on them I know and I really want a cute spot where I can put all of my handbags out again they make me happy and when I'm getting dressed I can just kind of be like oh this goes great with with it rather than having to think what's in the dust bag but it is what it is at the moment one day I'll figure that out but this is a YSL I think it's called medium Lulu bag it is black with silver detailing I love her she is cute soft leather which I love a soft leather but it's like kind of like a puffed leather can you see and she is really nice she's not big on the body but she holds a lot of space she has a middle compartment where i tend to throw lipsticks lip glosses maybe even like a smaller wallet and i do like that you can change her from a crossbody to a shoulder but y'all know i'm more of a shoulder girl i just i love her and i'll have this bag forever because it's just a good like staple bag mike bought it for me for my birthday it's a really awesome gift. Like I'll always remember that he bought this for me. I'm pretty sure it was my 30th birthday. She is really nice. I do love her. And I'm gonna be honest, I use her way more so in the winter. I switch between this one and my Chanel one that I'm gonna show you in a minute. A designer bag that I bought for myself. And you guys are gonna see as I go through this video, I own a lot of Valentino things. I love Valentino. I think my favorite handbags are Valentino handbags. I do have other handbags that I really love, but I would say designer. Valentino just does it right because I'm a really big fan of the rock stud collection I bought this for myself for when Mike and I went to Italy on our honeymoon This is like my Italy bag. And so when I take her out I think of that amazing time that Mike and I had Exploring all of Italy. It just brings me such happiness But can you see just like the way the light dances off of the studs? It just makes Valentino look so expensive I love this. This is a great everyday bag. The crossbody strap comes off so you can just walk around with her like this. And I think it's really sweet. I don't wear her up my arm like that, so I don't know why I did that. I normally just hold it like this. Or again, I'll use the crossbody and I'll show you what it looks like on. Got this in August of 2021. And she's cute. Again, would go with my outfit. A great everyday staple. Really comfortable. Very, very lightweight. Pebbled leather. So again, scratches don't show up on her that easily. I love that this kind of like buckles for protection and then in the inside i do keep the stuffing in a lot of my bags just so that they keep the shape but she's kind of just like a decent sized bag she's small but you know she fits a mirror your phone keys a gloss a lipstick it's just like the essentials and this and it again was great for exploring europe just because it was a small bag that didn't weigh a lot and really just carried the essentials so i would buy this bag again i would buy this bag in multiple colors great all year round bag but i do tend to wear a lot of creams in the spring and summer i do wear her in the fall though because these kind of could be fall colors too but yeah if you're thinking about it buy it it also comes in black which is a great option but i have a lot of black handbags so i am very happy with my decision to get it in this kind of like poudre color and the reason why i picked this color was because i've always wanted and i'm so glad that i didn't get them because for the longest time i really wanted the louboutins i don't remember what they're called but you know the red bottom heels that are like freakishly high i wanted them for the longest time and i never bought them and i'm glad that i didn't because i've heard that they're really uncomfortable and honestly i'm all about comfort as i've gotten older so i don't think i would wear them if they hurt so so much but instead of buying the shoes i bought it in the handbag and i think that that was 
a great decision. While Mike and I were in Italy, you know I had to buy something. I bought myself multiple things, not just one thing. But I did buy myself this Rogani. She is cute. Let me tell you something. She's cute. And this was in September of 2021. Little bags were in. They were it. It was popping. Everybody had one. I didn't have one because again, I love a shoulder bag. It does become a crossbody, but I bought this. And let me tell you something. When you're buying a bag, bring your phone with you. When do we not bring our phone with us? And this was so silly because Mike and I were shopping. We were in Rome at the Spanish Steps. I saw this bag and I loved it and I had my phone with me and I didn't even bother to try and see if my phone fit inside of it. I bought myself one and I bought my aunt a more blue one. Yeah, my phone doesn't even fit in this. I love this bag. I really do. But a lot of the times I have to make sure that I'm wearing pants that I have pockets or jeans or some sort this way I can just throw my wallet my gloss my lipstick a mirror some powder pressed powder to go in here and then I can put my phone in my pocket but I do love her she's really sweet and again this is a bag that I will keep forever because I bought her when I was in Rome and it was my first time in Italy and honestly I'm dying to go back you can put the straps on her which I will show you what it looks like she's cute again it has kind of like a faux crocodile print on her it's definitely not crocodile but it is genuine leather and yeah it's just something that i will cherish forever and i was talking about this the other day with mike but i'm really hoping that one of my nieces is a fashion addict like me and wants all of these things because let me tell you something if i had an aunt like me and down the road she gave me all of her designer handbags like i would be really excited so i'm really praying to god that one of my current nieces from Michael's side is a big fashion addict or that my brother and my sister have girls or boys, whoever, just someone that is obsessed with fashion so I can hand this down and all the other things down to just because I love old things. And I also, and we're about to get into this because I did buy a few secondhand designer bags, but I also love things that have a story. I just find that even though I bought these secondhand things from people that I don't know, just the fact that they had a life before me is kind of cool. And that's why I do buy secondhand designer goods because one, you can buy brand new products, like products that have been gently used, show no signs of wear for like a quarter of the price. If you were to go to a designer store or buy it offline from the designer website, and I'm gonna show you like how amazing some of these bags are that I bought, but it's cool that things have a story. It's just, I, I like that. And it's also sustainable, which you guys know that I try to be all the time. So why not buy someone else's, what is that saying? One man's trash is another man's treasure give it to me. Give me all the Chanel. Give me the Valentino. Give it because I love it. 2022 was a big handbag collecting year for me because I discovered Fashion File. Again, this video is not sponsored, but I bought quite a few designer goods from Fashion File in the year 2022, starting off with the first one, which was the biggest one, which is the most valuable handbag that I personally own. This is my one and only Chanel Caviar Lizard Small Cocoa Bag. I love her. Do I wish she was a small classic flap? Maybe. Don't tell her that. But guys, I bought this when all of the price hikes were happening at Chanel and everywhere else. I don't know about you, but I was personally freaking out because we never know what happens in life. Like I am manifesting success and happiness and health and all the kind of things for myself, but we never know what tomorrow brings. And just the fact that all of these kind of designers are now hiking up the prices of their things, I thought to myself, let me buy a Chanel bag now while I can afford it before this bag jumps from 5K to 15K and that's just out of my price range. So I bought her as a birthday present to myself. She has the classic opener here. She's like a decent size. She holds a good amount of things, but it's not like a tote bag, okay? And then it has the classic like Mona Lisa pocket in the back. And then I don't know if you can see, but this is like a brown embossed lizard handle and then the strap comes off, but I'm not gonna take it off, but it's like the, it's gold, but it's like the worn gold. I am not like the biggest Chanel connoisseur. I don't know a lot about Chanel, but I did do a lot of research before I bought this because I wanted to buy a bag that would carry its value and something that I could take care of that wasn't easily scratched. Now, I love lambskin bags. We all love lambskin bags, you know, the soft kind of like shiny bags. I love a soft leather, a soft, 
pillowy leather. Mm, it's my favorite kind. But I went with the caviar because this doesn't show scratches. It doesn't show a lot of wear. And again, I feel like when you're buying Chanel, you're investing because not only do I plan to hand this down, but who knows? Again, we never know what tomorrow may bring. And it's good to have in my collection because if I need to sell it, I can get almost as much money as I spent on it if not more i bought this secondhand and at the time that i bought this these were going for like eight grand okay i bought this for a little under 5k and i love her again i will have her forever and this was definitely an investment piece i do like to carry her around by her top handle but she also has a shoulder strap or it can be used as a crossbody strap and this is definitely my fall winter handbag i like the top handle option but i wish that either this top handle was a double strap a double shoulder strap or something that was a little bit more malleable like i just it's a constant rainbow and that's okay because it makes it look more expensive and kind of a bit formal but I do have other bags that have more of like a softer handle. I feel like if it were a softer handle, it could kind of basically just look like a small flat more so than a top handle. Do you get what I'm saying? Kind of wish I could take this off and just wear her like this, but it is what it is. And again, a great investment. I'm not not happy with this purchase. And if I could go back in time, I would definitely purchase her again. The Chanel spiraled into my fashion file obsession. And the next bag that I bought, I honestly don't know the name of, but oh my God, this bag has been around for a really long time. This was all over fashion blogs when I was in college right and as you can see it has a top handle but it's not one that's stuck like this it does lay flat and i like that about this bag this is a valentino rockstar did i write down the name i didn't so i'm not really sure what it's called but when these first came out which these came out a while ago these were retailing for three thousand dollars granted i did wait a really long time i bought this guy in april of 2022 not long after the chanel i bought this one and I follow Victoria McGrath here on YouTube and all over social media. I love her. She's a big fashion influencer, right? Okay. So she bought this bag like forever ago and she bought it a little while after the trend, but I would watch her with the bag and just like every time I saw it, on her Instagram anywhere, my eyes would just light up. So when I saw her on Fashion File, and I'm not gonna lie, when I bought the Chanel bag, they said that they were sending me a Chanel duster. It did not come with a Chanel duster. They sent me a basic bitch Fashion File duster bag, which is upsetting. If you can have the authentication papers for Chanel and also the dust bag, it makes your Chanel worth more should you decide to sell it. Fashion File gave me a $50 coupon, and somehow I equated the $50 coupon um, to somehow buying this bag, which did I say how much that I bought this for? I bought this for $1,900. So in my eyes, I got half off and I love this bag. She's so beautiful. I love how, again, the rock studs just like dance in the light. She looks so, so expensive. I carry her like this or, and again, I do keep the paper in there. Um, but yeah, she is a decent size. She's not huge, but she carries enough and she does come with crossbody, which I honestly don't like love these. I'm not gonna put it on cause I'm just gonna take it off. But anyway, so she has like a really long gold strap and yeah, I love her. One of my favorite bags. And I think that this is just one that I lusted after for so long that I will never get rid of her. She is a much softer leather. She's a much softer bag. And I love a soft bag and I love Valentino. So definitely one of my favorite purchases. I don't reach for her every day because you know, she's kind of not something again, you can throw over your shoulder, but she is a beautiful kind of like statement piece, spring, summer, fall bag. I, I use her all year round, but when I just want to make a statement, that's when I go for this. But if I'm gonna go run errands or Mike and I are gonna go to the mall, like I'm not gonna bring her. What I will bring is this Valentino bag that I bought on Fashion File as well. I bought this bag in November of 2022 when they were having their Black Friday sale and I got this bag for dirt cheap, especially because Valentino stopped making this bag in this size. So this is the small rock stud bag. I bought this for about 650 bucks. And again, if you buy her new, she's close to like $3,000. So I saw her and just thought, you know what? I would love just like an everyday throw it in your bag kind of bag. Do you know? Because again, that year I bought my Chanel bag, which isn't really like an everyday bag. She was my everyday bag for a really long time until I bought this. And Mike even said to me like, wow, you really 
wear that Chanel bag a lot and it was really becoming my everyday bag and I don't want my Chanel bag to be an everyday bag. Do you know what I'm saying? One, like I don't always want to wear Chanel out just because Chanel bags are expensive and with prices going up and up and up. You never know. I don't want someone to come after me because of my bag and I know it's not good to think like that but I'm a woman so I do think like that. Also I didn't want the wear and tear. I don't want the everyday mileage on my Chanel bag either so I went and I bought this and Valentino makes this in a large size and a medium size but they discontinued the small size and I just think this is the perfect like every day you throw it on your shoulder and then when you're out and about you open it you grab what you need to grab it also comes with crossbody strap which is super super convenient but the only thing I'm going to say is that with this bag just know that the studs kind of hurt like they will dig into your shoulder if you put them down but if you put them up top it's fine same thing with these straps. These studs will dig into your shoulder, will dig into your arm, so just do be wary of that. But this is beautiful. I really love this bag. It has an inside zipper where I keep my wallet, so I'll just zipper this up because this does not close. It's kind of, well, it does, but kind of just closes with this buckle. So I'll close it like that. But honestly, a lot of the times I don't really close her. Definitely more so a fall and winter bag for me. Ever since spring hit, I really haven't been using this because I bought more spring like easier everyday bags. Like this is cute, but again, she's a little high May with the studs and it does scream winter. Like this is a dark leather bag, black leather. And again, it's pebbled. So she will stay in pristine condition for a really long time because pebble caviar doesn't really show any scratches. And I'm excited. I'm not wishing for the fall to come, but I'm excited to wear her during the more cooler months. It's a great bag. And honestly, I will keep her forever just for the simple fact that I spent 600 bucks on her and it's a steal because it makes such a statement. She's so beautiful and I love her very much. After this bag, the spring was coming. It was actually April and I thought to myself, listen self, you have to buy yourself something for your birthday because you do every year. And I had been on a little kick where I would buy myself something a little bit more expensive. I wanted to splurge again, but I didn't want to splurge as much because as you saw, I spent a good amount of money on handbags in 2022. So I thought I deserved something, but like not as big of a something. So I do own this bag in two different colors. And you guys have seen this bag so many times if you follow along my vlogs, but this is my Gianni Chiarini from Firenze, from Florence, Italy bag. It is the most perfect hobo. I keep all of the stuffing in them, which is so annoying, but it is a soft pebble leather. So again, it's gonna stay really well, but I like to keep the stuffing in it so that it keeps its shape. And this bag retails for $3.75, and then I did have to pay about $40 shipping to ship her from Italy, but it's just this green. And I'm gonna tell you a story about this green. Mike and I went to Chanel because I was convinced I wanted another Chanel bag. Did I deserve it? Not in the moment because I had just bought one. So I didn't buy the Chanel bag, obviously, but it was this beautiful green color and it was a very expensive Chanel bag. I had went and the price hike had just happened. So the bag went from, I want to say like 5,800 to 6,500 and I was not spending over seven grand on a handbag. I just don't feel like that's fiscally responsible for me at the moment, especially given the fact that I just bought myself a Chanel, two Valentinos. It was not needed. So I settled... And I'm so glad that I settled because when I tell you that I love this bag, I bought it because it's the same color as the Chanel bag. I'll put the Chanel bag, I'll put a picture of it on the screen here, but it's very, very similar. It's like this rich kind of like emerald green. I love this bag. I would wear this bag with this outfit. It's just like your perfect bucket bag. And it has, I don't know if you can see this, but it has pockets on both of the sides of the bag. So I can throw my phone in one. I throw my keys in another, just anything where I need quickly to access it, I throw it in the outside. And then on the inside, it's just like a big, can you see, it's like a big bucket. Hello. This is a little hard to show you, I guess because of the shape, because it's such a hobo, but it comes with a little detachable wristlet, which I think is so nice. So you kind of get two bags for the price of one. And then it does have two pockets, green pockets on the inside but so I bought her for my birthday she came just in time I literally bought this right before Mike and I went to Napa and she came literally like two days before we left they ship very quickly and then when they ship it's here in like two days even from Italy I brought her to Napa and I fell madly in love with her when we went to Napa so much so that Mike was like if you love it 
get it in another color because I was deciding between getting this bag in white or green and I went with the green just because this color really spoke to me and out of the two the green is definitely my favorite but let me tell you something this white is the perfect summer handbag again it would go beautifully with my outfit but I bought the same exact bag and I'm a little mad now because they did go on sale and I think they're like a they went from 375 to like 175 but Granted, if I had bought her, I wouldn't have that much time to wear her or the green one because I really think that these are like spring summer bags. I mean, I love a winter white. That's not to say that I won't use this in the winter, but yeah, it's just like, look how pretty, look how pretty. And this has the same specs as the other one, but again, they are this like kind of pebbled leather so they will last a really long time the white does get dirty i wore her with jeans thank god like the transfer came out but she does get dirty i do need to wipe her off with a damp washcloth and a little bit of soap but these bags are beautiful i definitely want to check out this brand again and maybe buy some more winter bags from them just because this is like a price point where quality is beautiful like it's a beautiful quality bag but it's not like over a thousand dollars it's 375 again definitely premium price but it's not outrageous and so I love like a middle tier bag I really do because I don't have to worry about it like yeah it's white do I want it to get dirty no if something transfers on it am I gonna be upset a little bit but I would be way more upset if this was like a five thousand dollar Chanel bag do you get what I'm saying you get what I'm putting down and those are called the euphoria bags I bought the green one on April 6th and I bought the white one on April 13th because again Mike and I went to Napa and he was like if you love it buy it so I bought it and the rest is history. I literally bought the bag on the flight home from Napa. That's how much I was obsessing and just like needed it. I'm sorry if the lighting has changed, the frame has changed, but my freaking battery keeps overheating and I have to turn her off. I may have saved the best for last and this is such a basic bitch move for me. Oh wait, no I didn't because I did want to mention this other bag that my mom bought me for my birthday a couple years ago. Look how freaking cute this bag is. And I think it's from BCBG. And when I was younger, I was the biggest BCBG fan, but look at how cute this is. So I know that I told you, hello, hurry up, because you're going to get us in trouble. My cat's not supposed to be in the closet, but I'm going to let him come in to hang out with us for a moment. But my mom bought this for me for my birthday a couple years ago, and again, I love it. I don't own many clutches. This is the second clutch that I have, aside from the DBF one that I showed you guys. Kind of reminds me of, like, a coin purse. The only thing is, is, like, it is a little hard to open, and it does come with this strap. But it's so cute. Like, look how cute. This would go so cute with my outfit. Oh my god, if we go out, I'm gonna wear this. It's just, like, a great pink color. Like, it's a cute pink bag. I have owned... You guys saw the Valentino bags are a little bit pink, but I did buy, like, a coach pink, and it just was the wrong pink. This is, like, the right pink. My mom has great taste. I love this bag. I love how fun it is. It reminds me of, like, a flamingo ostrich, and it's just fun. And I was not expecting it when she bought it for me for my birthday. It's cute. It doesn't hold a lot. It'll hold your license, your credit card, a lipstick, a lip gloss. My phone doesn't fit in here and clothes, but that's okay because I wear her with jeans or something that owns a pocket. So I love her. It's just, it's fun. It's a fun bag. And I think we all need a fun bag. We don't all need like nonstop designer bags, you know? But I love more designer bags, yes. But I love my fun little BCBG bags too. And she's really cute. You know, I am a basic bitch and I have no problem being a basic bitch. But I bought the, and again, I don't know the name, so I wrote it down, the Goyard Artois PM tote. I mentioned this in a vlog. This is like my everyday bag. I love her. She is so lightweight. It's canvas and she has the Goyard kind of print. But the difference with this is that I didn't want to get the bucket bag. I wanted a bag that looked like the bucket bag but had a little bit more structure. So I went with this one. It has the leather kind of feet on the bottom like this. And then this one does zip close, which most of the people in New York City who own this bag do not have the zipper. They just have the open bag but i had a michael kors bag that i loved to death i sold that on poshmark and it was just like an open bag like this you would know if you saw it the bag was literally everywhere i loved it i beat the shit out of it i sold it on poshmark though because mike and i went to vegas i think and i had used that as my travel bag and i put it through security and it toppled over and i lost although i did get them back because tsa found them and sent them to me but i lost my prescription sunglasses that i had bought right before we went on the trip so i was a little mad and 
I was a little jaded, not gonna lie. Very, very light. It has leather detailing. Inside, it has a compartment and it's kind of just like a big bucket bag. I love this bag. When Mike and I go to the beach house, I will throw my essentials in here. I'll throw my laptop in here. Everything just fits so beautifully in here. This is what it looks like on the side of my body. Like it is printed, but it's a beautiful kind of like everyday gray shade. She goes with like everything and anything. Like I could get away with wearing this with this outfit. Brogan, please don't knock my camera over. This is probably one of my favorite handbags at the moment. I would say that this and the Gianni Chiarini totes right now are the ones that I am using, loving, and abusing the most. And I just hit my cat with the bag on his head. But luckily, again, it doesn't weigh anything. It's super light, so he's fine. I'm sorry, do you wanna come up here and say hi to the people? Come on. Here, say hello to the people. Say, what are we doing in my closet? You're not supposed to be in here. He's not supposed to be in here. Say hello before my battery dies. He doesn't want me to touch him. He's like, finish what you're saying and be done and pay attention to me. Quickly again, I did buy this secondhand. Someone did own this before me. I think these retail for a good $3,000 to $3,500. And I bought this one for, I want to say $1,800, but I only spent $900 in my brain because I've been selling on Poshmark for a while now and I had sold so many things that I had a credit. So I took my Poshmark credit, put it towards this and out of pocket, the only amount that this cost me was $900, which is still a lot of money, but definitely worth it. I would buy this for the full price. Like I'm not, I wouldn't because I know there's some bags on secondhand market where you can get it cheaper. However, like if I had to buy this for full price, like if someone said to me, you can never buy this second hand ever and we're taking it away from you, I would go to Goyard and I would buy this bag. Granted, I think it's hard to get Goyard bags, especially in the popular colors, like green and gray, like I have. Those are all of my handbags. I hope that this was a little bit informative. Let me know down below, what's your favorite handbag that you own? If you could have any handbag from my collection, which one would it be? Honestly, right now, again, I really think if I had to pick one bag that I could save from this entire collection, memories aside, just like what I am using. Yeah, I'm gonna say it would be this one. I'm gonna say it would be this one. And I'm gonna say that the next time I do a handbag collection video, I would not be shocked if I were you if I had this in other colors. I really like the black and I don't need another black bag. I really don't. But I like the black bag with the kind of like tan brown detailing. Oh, it is rich, honey. It is rich. So many of these hold a special place in my heart. I just remember how excited I was when I bought them. Like the Valentino little crossbody. I think of Italy every time I take that one out. Also my gray one that I bought in Italy. It's just like material things last a really long time. Can last a lifetime if you take care of them. And it's kind of just like the meaning behind them and the memories that I personally treasure. So yeah, and I really feel that way a lot with my jewelry. If you would like to see a jewelry collection, I wear a lot of the same jewelry and I wear a lot of it. So if you're interested in a jewelry video, do be sure to let me know. I love you guys so much. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to please let me know if you did or if you did not, because if you did, I'll upload more things like this. If you didn't, I won't. Um, I love you guys so much and I really, really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.